This one is Congress Pool. It's it was bubbling more before. From this way. You can't see as as well. It's cold out. These things make a lot oh, of steam. Oh, uh, there it goes. There it goes. There it goes. Yeah. And check out the sunrise over there, over those trees too. You see yeah, it? Yeah. The sun's just starting to come up. This is Minute Geyser. It used to erupt much higher than this, but when what years 50s, 60s, the road apparently came much closer to it, and people threw rocks into it and clogged it. And actually, you can see a bunch of rocks there, all around it. So it doesn't erupt anywhere near as high as it used to years ago. Veteran geyser. Canary Spring. Uh, it's just some kind of mineral water runoff terrace thing. Okay. Now we're at Artist Paint Pot, and this is a little bubbly mud hole. The paint pots themselves are down on this side. I'll try and get you a view. Here's a picture from 1888. I didn't even know they had cameras back then. Of this geyser right here erupting. Apparently it could erupt 300 feet in the air. Can't really see it, it's so steamy. Can you get really deep? Like come over here. But Lisa's very excited because it's super clear water. Like a light blue. But it erupted so much that it shut itself down. And now it doesn't really erupt anymore. It just pumps out a ton of hot water. Hmm. Well, good morning. It's Monday, and we're heading towards Grand Prismatic, which I think is right up there. It's a little dreary this morning. We've got a little rain, but we're up to 45 degrees today. So we'll see what it's about. Okay, I don't know. Maybe you can see all this traffic as it bends up here across the, around the bend. But do you see out here, there's one lone buffalo. It causes a lot of traffic. For us, it's like being an Aztec and seeing the horses. Lisa really likes this hot water coming down, so she said I have to film this. There's another one over there, a little waterfall going into the river. Oh, blue sky. Nice this way. Not so nice this way. Alright, this is Grand Prismatic, which should look like this. <laughs> but it doesn't, it looks like this because... There's lots of steam and we're so close to it. I think there might be a trail up on that hillside, but we have to try and find that. Um, but it has the browns and oranges. oranges. It's kind of cool. And we just did a short little hike up to the Grand Prismatic Overlook. You can see the color's a little better, but still a lot of steam. We're at Old Faithful, and I don't know if anybody knows when it's going to go off, but we'll see. So at the moment, I'm standing, sitting here waiting for the geyser to go off, and as you can imagine, Tom's off on a hike, looking around. He'll be back in a few, he said. For another hike, heading up to the top of Avalanche Peak, which I think is about 10,000 feet. This is a, uh, I don't know, like 2.2 each way up and back, 2,000 feet of elevation gain. 
Um, so this is going to be a fun one. I'm maybe about halfway, I don't know. Um, but let's see what the view looks like at the time. Right, I feel like the storm's coming this way, so I'm not going all the way to the top. I'm going to stop here and head on back down because I don't like the thunder. So down there's the road we drove up on and looks like the rain and thunder is coming. And Avalanche Peak is up that way. I don't know if you can see the people. So I don't know. 15 minutes or so, but there's some I can hear some thunder in that direction. So maybe it's not coming this way. I'll walk a few more minutes and then decide if I want to head back. All right, it's sleeting now. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it. Ouch, it hurts. It's uh, bouncing off my head. Does not feel good. All right, it's really coming down. Look at the ground. Holy heck, this hurts. These things are really <laughs> hard on my head. I wish I had a couple more hats. I'm glad I turned around when I did, even if I went and got electrocuted. This would not be fun out in the open at all. All right, five minutes later, sun is out, kinda. Here's all the the uh, sleet. That's not where I went, but that is a cool view. Probably kind of hard to see, but there's a buffalo over here, right over there. And here's Lisa, scared to death. And we, and we did hear an elk call. A mating elk. Over in this direction somewhere. But uh, there's a one buffalo right over there. The trail goes this way, so. All right, we went a little further. We found a second buffalo <laughs> right over there. I don't know if you can see him. Point to Math Washburn. Mount Washburn is right up there. The you, they, they'll never be able to see it. The, and there's trees. That's where I hiked up to. And hopefully the sun Which it. is, I, don't know, I, can't, I can't even see it in this little screen. But anyway, there's a little box on top of a mountain over there. That was the Mount Washburn hike. We still haven't found the sunrise. <laughs> we think it's this way, so we're going to keep going. All right. So I didn't get to, I didn't film it with this camera because I was using my other camera, but we just saw giant bull elk and he had a female with him. We heard him calling. We actually came from right over there. The path goes up here and goes to the right. And I kept hearing the call right over this little hill right here. So I was just walking along the trail and luckily it split to the left and uh, I came around the corner and there he was right up there in those woods. And then as I walked, it opened up and you could totally see him. He had a giant rack on him, but I mean, he did not have any interest in us at all. As soon as he saw us, he started moving away from us. Here's where we made our left right up here. But maybe, I mean, he did kind of walk in the direction we're going, so maybe we'll see him again. But very, very skittish. He was not, he, neither of them wanted to be near us, so. I got some long range shots with the camera. I'll try and throw some up. Okay, so we saw the deer, as Tom said, and now he's walking down this path. Got all foggy coming from where our car is. But can you see the line for the trail leading ahead? That goes back to our car. That's where those two buffalo are. So hopefully we get to the car. Let's see. Okay, we made it over the field and there were like five buffalo. It rained, and now the sun's back out again. And I think if we do it this way, you can see how great Tom and I look right now, all due to the rain. Except I'm holding a lens cap in my mouth. Hold on. We did see a rainbow. Let me see if it came back. Nope, the rainbow's gone, and there's geese in the field. There's just a little bit of everything. But we're not at the car yet. This is the upper falls of the Grand Canyon of Yellowstone. 
and we just were right by here for that hike so we came back even though we we're already here before but it's kind of cloudy out today what do you think of that elk wow that was a right here it's yeah. really cool check okay how do you like this view so since it's been raining all day since our elk finding this morning we came down to the lodge at the lake view area and there's all these rocking chairs along the edge but the best part about this place is there's a bar inside <laughs> okay so the bar is over there in that corner that's where tom is and there's a nice fire going see how warm it is in here so you can imagine after a couple hours in the camper with the rain we needed a change of scenery 